Hey, thank you all, and Bria. Yeah, we're high, here on Highway 50, just shy of Echo Summit. We're on the eastern side of 50, and look back behind me. You can see that huge ridge top, but you can also see something else, a lot of fires that aren't completely put out. You know, they have a phrase that says, Mother Nature rules the day, and she was very kind to us overnight. We saw things cool down, we saw humidity go up, and because of that, it got a little bit more stable, and a lot of these fires did not roar the way they could have. Now, when you look at a lot of that smoke that's still there, you know, there's a couple of things you have to take into consideration when you're talking about wildfire development. That is fuel. Of course, we're definitely dry. That's wind. We got a red flag warning, gusty winds, and terrain. Look at all this rock. So when you see rock, rock is normally considered a natural barrier to fires. But this particular fire jumped over that hillside where you have the rock and went well into the valley just back behind us. I said that to say, with the opportunity for more winds gusting later on today, the rock really hasn't slowed it down, not the way we hoped it would. So with the blowing embers coming from the west, this fire actually crossed the Echo Summit, moving into the Tahoe Basin, and that is why we were so concerned with the red flag warning yesterday as well as today, because we are not out of the woods just yet. Now, the threat of wildfires is so severe. Did you know that the U.S. Forest Service has closed all forests till September 17th? And speaking of September, Cal Fire says they now believe that this fire, the Caldor Fire, will be completely under control by September 13th. Today is September 1st. We're looking for winds to pick up, and that red flag warning is in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. Hopefully, when the winds pick up, we won't see a lot of those fires on that hillside pick up and again clear that ridge. That's what we're hoping, but of course that is always the threat when you're looking at high winds and the opportunity for critical fire weather. That's a look at what's happening here on Highway 50. Back to you. Great vantage point, Tracy. Thank you.